Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in World Fusion music. Today, my guest is Matthew Borgna, who is from France and is joining us from there today. And he is a steel pan player and composer. Welcome, Matthew Borgna, to the World Fusion Show. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm sorry. I'm so glad that you could join us today. It's just great. Cool, man. I'm glad too. Thanks yeah. to you. And your music is fantastic. Um, um, Thank I'm you very much. I'm going to ask you a little bit about your background because pan is, you know, an unusual instrument. And um, you didn't start with pan, uh, as you were telling me. So how did you begin with music? I began uh, by learning piano at seven and uh, my mother used to play piano my my father played saxophone so it was normal to to ask their children if they want to make some music so my brother did guitars or trumpet that was normal thing uh, i did that for 10 years but not really uh, i mean i was not really involved in studying music it was just once a week, I play piano with a personal teacher. That was really nice. And I know now that it opened my, uh, my ears. That was the first thing. And then about 14, when I was 14, um, I just loved the drum set. So I want to play this. So I start to play in band just like this, like rock band. And uh, yeah, uh, I used to to love uh, hard rock music. So music with a lot of energy and beat the drum set. And then after school, when I was uh, 18, I decided to do a music school about the drum. And uh, I met a teacher who was really... Uh, about the mix between jazz and traditional rhythm. It was a, a jazz music school. So uh, it teach me all, all the different traditional rhythm on drum. And that, that's how I become uh, accustomed to Brazilian rhythm or uh, French island rhythm, uh, African rhythm also. And, uh, or Cuban, Cuban music, etc. All that traditional thing. Yeah, that was yeah. my stuff. So, so after, after, yeah, sorry. I'm saying, I'm sorry, because um, eventually you discovered the pan. And I want to go to our first video right now. And this is the first thing I heard from you. And I discovered you on Facebook, by the way. <laughs> and yeah. I heard this version of... John Coltrane's Giant Steps that you posted and was completely knocked out by the performance <laughs> and you're playing. Tell us a little bit about, about this. Yeah, that was for a competition for the Panorama, which is a competition, uh, a solo competition. But uh, in, a, in a certain Panorama way, like uh, arrangement in some tune, but you play it alone. And... Uh, I, I never did any competition, but that was uh, in virtual, uh, just like after the pandemic thing, everything is virtual now. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it was easy to make some video uh, by, by, by my place and then send it. So I decided to do this competition. And uh, that was a real nice experience. I saw many... Many people uh, really support me. Uh, uh, I was not expecting that. And uh, the first tune I did was Giant Steps. And just I decided to... Uh, we used to play that with Calypso Session. It's the steel band I, uh, I, I lead in Paris. And uh, a few years ago, we did that tune. Make Giant Steps in Calypso. So that was my point to do this tune. Yeah, well, it's amazing. Let's go to the video right now.
we are back with Matthew Borgna and amazing, amazing version of Giant Steps we just heard. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> that is like, I mean, it's, it's crazy amazing. Anyway, so, um, Matthew, I wanted to ask you, you know, eventually you discovered the steel pan and you, you know, it really changed your life. Tell us about that. Exactly. <clears throat> I am... Um... I had the opportunity to play drum for a band because they need a drummer. And that, that band was a steel band in Paris called Calypso Session. And uh, they, they had just three years. Uh, they start three years before. That, uh, that, that was a small band, like 20 piece. And uh, they have like four tunes. And they wanted, uh, they, they need a, a drummer to make some little gigs around. And I was, I was like a, a student at that time. I, I'm still, <laughs> when you play music, you're still a student. But And I didn't know about those rhythm, but I, it, it was really in my, uh, in my direction. So in first place, I was really focused on drum rhythm, so soca, calypso, and on, that was only, I remember, that was only drums in my mind. But after a while, we get on tour, we had some day off, and I try uh, on a tenor pan, the first time, I remember, I try to make, uh, make something, because I used to play piano, because I play piano, so I understand how it's organized, and I was like, it's crazy. This instrument is crazy. So uh, it's how it starts. And then I start to play, to play pan, start to learn uh, the tenor. And then I went to Trinidad one time the next, the next carnival. And that was uh, 1998. And, uh, and uh, since that time, uh, uh, I get involved in, in Pan. Pan for me, I, uh, I just fall in love with Pan because it's the mix between harmony and rhythm. You play rhythm with notes. So that, that's my mix. <laughs> that's <laughs> so me. It's fantastic. And of course, playing with a large steel pan orchestra is quite oh, yeah. an amazing thing in terms oh, yeah. of the sound. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Um, a lot of recordings don't do that justice. You have to hear it live to really feel the exactly. harmonic complexity in the pan. Um, but, you know, I want to go to our next video, which is representing that. This is a, uh, a group uh, of a pan that you work, pans you work with. Um, tell us really quickly about this. Okay, so now this is the, this is I Life. Yes. This is the an arrangement I did for Panorama. I was supposed to, I mean, every year I'd, I make arrangement for Panorama and I try to arrange in Trinidad or, or in London or in New York. Um, and uh, I did it a few times, once in New York and, and twice in Trinidad, but it's not easy, but every year I try. So the, 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 the last year I tried with iLife to arrange for, um, the, no, it's for this year, for this summer that was for London Panorama. And uh, I proposed that to different band. And, uh, but nobody say yes. <laughs> so I just, I just did it uh, with my wife, just to, two tenor and then two double seconds and two guitar. And we just, we just record it like that to show how it could sound, but it's not a real big steel band, right? but it's, it's to, to show the music I can arrange. That's great. Let's go to the video right now and watch this very cool. All right. Beautiful song.
with Matthew Borgna um, and more steel pan madness. And uh, next we're going to go to another video of Matthew's with a group that he's worked with for a while. Tell us a little bit about this group you've been with. Yeah, this is Jazil. This is a, a jazz fusion fusion band mixed between jazz and uh, all the different different influence we have uh, as musicians. We have uh, uh, yeah. So this is a band. It's like 15 years uh, 15 years ago we did that with friends. And uh, we don't have, we did just one album, one CD, and uh, it's only composition and it, all the time fun. We don't have many work, but okay. It, it, for the next 20 years, we, we will still be here. <laughs> That's so great. All right, let's go to the video right now and watch this. We are back on the World Fusion Show with Matthew Borgna. And we you've done some interesting World Fusion collaborations, and one of them is this next video we're gonna watch with a group Dry Paradise. Tell us a little bit about this collaboration. Yeah, Dry Paradise is the last the last group uh, I went to, to play, I play with. It comes from a guy called Jean-Marc Zelver. It's a it's a, a guy who did many different type of uh, mix between traditional instruments. He played different traditional instruments. He played santour, which is the ancestor of piano in Kanoe. And uh, he mixed that with a, a Turkish percussionist and then a bass player who, who played fretless, like Jaco Pastorius, uh, a steel pan, I played double second. And then the, this uh, Indian singer, uh, Uma Devi, uh, and it's it's a, a original mix. Real, you, you don't know what happened with that, but it, it, it works. It, it, it put a, a certain ambience, a color, and uh, and people like it. It's really nice. And the pan, the steel pan with it, because it's only acoustic music. So the sound of the steel pan is really beautiful. I agree. I think it works beautifully. And of course, it's perfect for the show because that's what we do here on the World Fusion Show. We combine yeah. different... That was our, our first concert. That's right. <laughs> it is true. All right, let's go and watch this wonderful video right now. Okay.
right, we are back with Matthew Borgna and that wonderful Indian singer and interesting combination of instruments. Uh, now, Matthew, I just want to thank you so much for joining us today on the show and sharing your incredible Thanks music you. with our audience. I'm sure they're going to love it. And hopefully they'll come check you out, your website, and buy your CDs and support <laughs> more and more of this great music. Thank you very much. That was a pleasure. All right. You take care and we'll connect soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been great to have you. We have so many great shows and guests coming up. Please stay tuned. Tell your friends. Subscribe to us on uh, Facebook. Follow us on our YouTube channel. And let's keep spreading this wonderful music throughout the planet. Uh, I'd like to say a quick thank you to our wonderful sponsors, the McKenzie Family Charitable Trust, Chris Pratt, Nancy Feinberg, and Ron Dance for your generous support. And as we always like to say on the show, remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.